Hey, what's up, peeps? My name is Lachlan Monroe. You're watching Vinny and Skip on the best damn movie show on YouTube.com. Well, welcome back to the best damn movie show right here on YouTube.com. Well, let's get into it, man. Let's get into Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, well... Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, this movie takes place, if you've seen the original, and there is an original trilogy of Mad Max movies, directed by George Miller. He directed this one. He came back. He's like 70 years old. But he wanted to come back and he wanted to do it with all the special effects of today, the cameras of today, the, the things that we have, the technology that they do today, and put it towards a new Mad Max movie. And this one is... You don't need to see the other three to see this one, but in the continuity of Mad Max films, it takes place after Mad Max and before The Road Warrior. So we pick up Mad Max, and he's like this disheveled mess kind of guy. And Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, yeah, Tom Hardy. And he's like this, and, and these guys take him prisoner, this guy that's like <clears throat> this barren, and he, he has this water that comes up through the water and he and he feeds all these like nomads and stuff and he's like he's got these women and they just have sex and they're there just for him and they're like his his special breeders and he's got this whole like world that he's got going on you know now Tom Hardy kind of looks like Rob Zombie these days he has the long dreads the big beard <clears throat> and then they come in and they take him capture and they shave him down like a sheep. But also, <clears throat> the way they shot this movie, they shot it for seven months. Uh, the, the budget tripled. The budget tripled. The budget for the first three films were $350,000. This is $150 million. So George Miller got a whole lot of money. <clears throat> I was talking to a buddy of mine at Movie Stop and he was telling me that uh, George Miller wanted to shoot this sequence, this long sequence that he had, and uh, the produ production company said, okay, they never do this, but they said, here, here's the money, go back to the Australian desert, is where it was shot, and go shoot it. So for another, I don't know, two, three months, he shot this scene that he wanted to put into the movie. But just, i tell you what. Go into that movie and just see the craziness they built. All the cars. I mean, cars stacked on cars. Monster trucks that look like hearsts. I, I mean... Yeah, the cars were... They, they probably had to have a huge budget just to do all the automobiles and the special vehicles that are trucks and trailers and cars. I mean... Name in this movie. I mean, they had tanker trucks. <clears throat> I mean, they had... They had... One car, it looked like it looked like a truck with a bulldozer hand on the side of it. I mean, it was just ridiculous. And ridiculous, I say, is so cool, like mind blowing. <clears throat> you yeah. just you sit there and you're like, <clears throat> where does one man come up with a concept of that car? The car chases in this movie are second to none. I mean, just think of the greatest car chases of all time, and you just think. This thing blows all of those away with some of the just crazy stunts. Now, who's the other girl? That, that? Oh, uh, Furiosa. Um, she works for the main bad guy in the movie, and she's played by Charlize Theron. And she decides she's going to take away she's the, hot too, the breeders. Oh yeah, she's got no hair in this. She doesn't look like Charlize Theron that much. She she teams up with Nicholas Holt, who's kind of like one of these like bad boys. He's like one of these like slave type kids, and he, who works for the main bad guy. And he breaks away, and they all team up, and they try to run away with these these breeders because you know the breeders don't want to be bred bred by this guy anymore. So this whole storyline ensues where they're, everybody and their brother, like three clans of people, are chasing them. Yeah, and and they're all related <clears throat> to the main guy. Well, so, she um, turns she turns her back on the main bad guy. Yeah. I don't, you know what? Spoiler alert! Sorry, I told you. Go see it still. I know we're a bunch of a holes because we're telling you the story. Skip, what would you give it? Oh, this is a big see it for me. I mean, the highest rating I could give. I absolutely loved it. Well, this is probably my fourth or fifth 
10 out of 10 that I'm going to give this movie. I really enjoyed it. And then, uh, the night before, I went to go see Hot Pursuit with uh, Sofia, so, 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 Sofia, Sofia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon. I tell you what, man. I should have seen it when I saw... I should have wanted to go see it when I had a free ticket to go see it. I'm not saying that it was horrible, but Reese Witherspoon plays a hick. Like, she has this... Yeah, come on now. I'm just cowgirl. No, yeah, no. She's from, like... Trailer. Yeah, she's from, like, Virginia. And <clears throat> what the story's about is, is she's this, like... Her dad was this, like, real good lieutenant cop uh, you know, you know, he was in the history of police, and he, she wanted to follow in his footsteps, so she becomes a cop, but she's down well on the totem pole, and she works in evidence, and then, you know, going through the movie, the cop gives her a chance, the head chief gives her a chance, uh, to where he, uh, her and this guy that plays, uh, a federal marshal goes through the house, and they're, they have to take this, these couple, this couple to Dallas to testify against a bad, the, the bad lord. Drug lord? Yeah, drug lord. And everything goes wrong. And he's, now she's stuck with her on the chase. And now the, like the FBI and the cops think that she's dangerous and she shot you know, knowing that she's this innocent girl. So, the whole movie's about them on the run, trying to get to Dallas. <clears throat> I mean, there's some comedy spots. There's some, you know, there's some things. You know, some laughs. But, you know, for, for the heck of it, I'm going to have to give this movie... I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I mean, I'm going to split it. I mean... There's some things I liked about it, and there's some things I hate about it. So, I mean, it wasn't that. I mean, it wasn't, like, horrible. And then, then on Wednesday night, I saw Maggie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, this one's a, uh, it's a uh, movie about the apocalypse, about, um, about the, the zombies coming and attacking. And uh, it's about her, his daughter in the movie that gets bit by one of these things, and... It's taken her a really long time to form into a zombie, and it's, it, I mean, it, it's, it, it's a side of Schwarzenegger that you're not going to see, because when you see a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you can't get past his lines in Kindergarten Cop. You can't get past, get in the chopper! I mean, you, you, you can't get past, you know, his Terminator lines. That's him. I mean, that's that's his career, are those movies. I mean, and he looks way different. I mean, you can tell it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I feel like his head shrunk. And it's like this miniature, like, face. But, um, Maggie, I'm going to have to give this movie, I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. I, I really didn't, I didn't think it was that great. I really didn't. You know, when you do a zombie movie or you do a horror movie, you really have to go over over the top to get get my approval, and it just didn't happen. Damn you, roofers!